Let's do something with some scraps. G'day everyone, thanks for tuning in yet again. This is another Nick Zamati inspired video. Thanks Nick. So I picked up this plastic bowl. We're gonna use this as a bit of a mold. Since I've been in the new workshop, I've been storing my shavings from each different project. I've got some salmon gum here from our essential oils boards. I've got some Mary here from a table that I'm working on. Don't know if you'll see that before this video comes out or after, but you will see it eventually. I got heaps of these. I got some jarrah and resin, I got some jarrah and pine, just got jars everywhere. So a while ago, I saw Nick Zamati put his shavings into a bowl with some resin to create a bowl blank that he could then turn on the lathe. That's what we're gonna do. Come and check it out. Now I don't want to put a whole heap of resin in this that I'm just going to have to cut out later. So we're going to make a bit of a resin saver out of this piece of pine here. Stick it in the middle so that we're just wasting pine and we're not cutting away resin. No idea what happened here. I don't know what the hell happened there. My only assumption is that it got way too hot and everything just expanded. I was inside, so I didn't even know it was happening and it just went everywhere. Unfortunately, the resin's already started setting, so I can't even save my workbench from this one. We're just gonna have to leave it now and hope that we can do something with this tomorrow. The damages to the workbench. There goes my uh, level playing field for setting boards on. It's just everywhere. Now this is quite interesting. It's actually a bit spongy, so I'm not sure what we're gonna be left with once this is fully cured. We'll just have to wait till tomorrow and find out. Check this out. Rock solid. You can see sort of what it looks like there. Pretty cool little droplets all around the edges. Let's try and get this out of the mold and have a look at the damages inside, eh? Check that out. So that came out of that mold fairly easily considering I didn't use any mold release or oil or anything of the kind. I just poured the resin straight in. What a mess. So I can't actually see any of the white in here that I put in, but you can definitely see the blue and the red contrast there. Let's put a face plate on this, get it on the lathe and see what happens. Oh, 
that was not what I was hoping would happen. As you saw, this just let go completely. Mind of its own, decided it didn't want to be there anymore. I think the screws may have let go a little bit and given the sheer size and weight of this piece, as soon as it got a little bit off center, it just took off what I didn't think possible was this. This is the most devastating part. Clean snapped my tool rest straight in half. So I'm gonna have to put this video on hold for a while until I can source a new tool rest for the lathe. You live and learn, I guess. So it's been a few days now since that disaster on the lathe. I went out and bought myself a 5 8 stem and a six inch crossbar from Robert Sorby. They go together just like this to create the new tool rest. Now I spoke to a few turners and they actually recommended the round rest over the flat one I had before. So we're gonna hook it up to the lathe and give it a go. slowed the lathe right down now. We've also included eight screws into the faceplate, which is something I don't usually do, but considering what happened last time, I'm doing it now. I think we're gonna call this one a failure. So the eight screws held up really well in the face plate. We managed to turn the outside here. As soon as I took my first few passes though, I could tell that this was not gonna work. You can see all the air holes from when the resin expanded all through this. It almost looks like a bit of foam or honeycomb or something like that. Put the mortise in the back for the chuck to open up in expansion mode and hold onto it. That didn't work. As you can see, pressure of the chuck just busted the mortise all around here. No more lathe for this one. That's not to say it's over though. I think I'm gonna try this on the drill press and see what we can get out of that. didn't work how I thought it would. I think my forcing bits are probably a bit blunt and this bit of pine is super hard now that it was soaked in resin. So my last attempt to make this into something is gonna be with a spade bit. And if I have no luck there, we're gonna to have to call this a complete and utter failure. guys there's only one thing i can think to do with this now and that's send it off to the garden as a pot plant i'm hoping all the air holes all through the resin will act as a good drainage system otherwise it's just going in the bin so we managed to hollow it out a little bit in there with the drill and some chisels be enough in there to put a bit of soil and a plant i know this video has been a fail guys but i would still love for you to subscribe to the channel all you have to do is head on over to our page jnd creations hit that subscribe button and then ring the bell at the top of the page if you want notifications about all our future videos. I promise they aren't all fails. We'll certainly have to try this project again in the future, but I think we're gonna go on a lot smaller scale so there's not as much resin and there's a lot less heat. Fingers crossed it'll work in the future because I've got heaps of shavings here to use for this. Thanks for checking out another episode, guys. Make sure you stay tuned because next week we have a super exciting video coming out. Our all-time favorite, that's for sure. Apologies for such a fail on this one, but hey, you gotta live and learn 
learn, you gotta make these mistakes so you know how to do it properly in the future. And we just wanted to show you that things don't always turn out the way you plan here. We do have mistakes quite often. Make sure you let us know down below in the comments section how you would have hollowed this out. I would love to hear everyone else's ideas because I'm out of them. This is all I had, the forcing a bit, the spade bit, and then the hand chisel. If you can think of something else, make sure you hit me up and let me know in the comment section below. As always, you can check us on socials, Facebook at JD Creations 18. Contact us via email, JD Creations at outlook.com.au. We're also on Instagram, which isn't anywhere here because we've only just started it, but you can check us out there at JD Creations 18. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next week.